good afternoon to all of you i hope uh, uh, you can hear me no audible there okay so can you see the screen is the presentation visible on your screen okay presentation visible fine uh, so let us begin now uh, so today we shall be i mean in our last class we were discussing binary addition i hope you understood uh, how we can do addition of the binary numbers and i had given you some assignments i'm sure that you all have done the assignment is there anyone uh, who have not been able to do any assignment or any doubt from the assignments which was given to you was there any doubt from the assignments which i had given okay that was clear so they were quite simple and uh, straight forward so i'm sure all of you have been able to do this assume i assume this fine now <clears throat> today we will be discussing uh, subtraction of the binary numbers how we can subtract the binary numbers so here is the table similar to the uh, binary addition where uh, if you have been given any two bits then how does subtraction of any two bits take place so this first column represents minuend i mean a number from which we have to subtract something the second bit or second column represents a subtrahend bit a bit which has to be subtracted from a particular number for example if you are saying 9 minus 4 so 9 is minuend and 4 is subtrahend fine uh, so what will be the difference so if minuend is 0 uh, subtrahend is 0 difference will be 0 so, as simple as this what will be borrow i mean as in case of uh, addition you have a carry in case of subtraction you have to take a borrow from the higher uh, bit i mean uh, say we have least, least significant bit then uh, higher weight bit higher weight bit and so on so you have to take a carry from a uh, bit which is having higher bit in case it is required so if uh, minuend is zero subtrahend is zero difference is going to be zero and we don't need any carry in that case now if minuend is zero and subtrahend is one then what happens difference is going to be one but we also at same time require a borrow to be taken from the higher uh, side bit fine so that is something we do i mean similar to what we do in a decimal case for example if you have to add uh, say 4 minus 4 uh, minus 9 you have to subtract say 9 from 4 what we do is we take carry from the previous uh, i mean left side uh, digit and then it becomes 14 and that is how you proceed the same is the case here if the minuend is 1 uh, subtrahend is 0 difference is of course again going to be 1 a uh, borrow will be zero and if both are one uh, subtrahend will be i mean sorry difference will be zero and borrow is zero it is uh, quite simple uh, and uh, very straight forward so this is the simple table you have to keep in mind while uh, doing binary subtraction let us do one example and then uh, uh, try to understand application of this table so before i show up you the answer you Uh, do this in your notebooks and uh, type your answer in the comment box let me see how many of you can do this uh, themselves okay 0101 0101 yes others almost everyone is getting the same answer so uh, that's how it is going to come right so this is minuend here you can can you find out what will be the decimal equivalent of minuend what is this number equal to in decimals what is minuend equal to in decimal this is 11 correct and what is subtrahend in uh, decimal subtrahend in decimal Six, correct. So, how to subtract? Let us see first in terms of binary form. So, this is one minus zero. See the table here. 
1 minus 0 is 0 and there is no carry, no carry required. So 1 minus 1 is again 0, no carry required. 0 minus 1. Here, what is difference? Difference is 1, but of course we also need 1 carry. Uh, uh, borrow, sorry. Not carry, but borrow. So this borrow will come from here to here. And then that is uh, what it means. I mean, 0 minus 1. Uh, so it is something like this. Okay, we, we, we took a carry. Uh, we took a borrow from here and put it here. So this is like, okay, uh, I mean, don't confuse yourself with the decimal number system. So you, it is not like, okay, 1 came here and 1 minus 1 should be 0. That is going from 1, 0, which is 2 in binary. So 1, 0 minus 1 is actually going to give you 1. That's the uh, easier way to understand this. So now finally you are left here with 0. So 0 minus 0 is zero so this is quite simple straightforward so what was this 11 what was this six so what will be the answer it should be five is this five you can see it very easily this is one uh, this is four so four plus one is five so simple is the uh, binary subtraction similarly if you have to do binary multiplication what you do is uh, actually you have to simply multiply the binary numbers in the same manner we used to do it in case of decimal number system and then follow the rules of binary addition. So in this case, suppose we have to multiply these two numbers to each other. They are in binary form given to us. So one, one is a one. This everything comes as such here in case it is being multiplied by zero. So this will be zero. You have to keep on shifting one column to the left in the same manner as we do in the case of decimal multiplication. Then here we will be shifting it by two column to the left and you will get the number as such. Similarly here, this will be the number, fine. So what will be your final product? Final product is going to be the addition of all these numbers the way we used to do in decimal case. So this will be one, this will be zero, this will be one. This one plus one will be one zero. So one will be ca carry here. So this will be coming here. Finally, this is zero. And what is this? This is going to give you one. This is going to give you one. So this is binary. Uh, this is the product of these two numbers in the binary form. Let us verify our answer if it is correct or not. So we need to first know what is this number in decimal form. Then we need to know what is this number in decimal form. Then we need to know what is this number in decimal form and then find out uh, the corresponding product in decimal form and verify if the answer is correct or not. So what is your uh, multiplicand in decimal form? What is the multiplicand in decimal form? Correct. Very good. Nine. What is your multiplier in decimal form? What is, uh, multipli what is uh, multiplier in decimal form? 13. Correct. Very good. So what should the product be? Straightforward. 13 into 9. What is 13 into 9? 9? Yes, 13 into 9. Kya hota hai? Correct. So now what is your answer in the binary form? This one. Convert this and check if it is giving you 170 or not. 117 or not. So well, this will be 1. This will be giving you 0. This will be giving you uh, 4. So 1 plus 4, 5. This will be giving you 0. This will be giving you 16, I think. This will be giving you 32. This will be giving 64. So 64 plus 32 plus uh, 16 plus uh, uh, 4 plus 1. Uh, add them. What, what will be the answer? Cross check. It should be giving you the correct number. Is it coming correct way? Very good. It, it comes uh, straightforward, correct answer. So this is how you can understand that uh, how we can uh, multiply any two binary number in binary form. Fine. Let's see another uh, simple example of uh, binary division now. So this is uh, example and solved as such. But how it is done, uh, you can try to see it uh, in the same way as we do for decimal case. But here, interesting thing is that whatever comes here, then we have to either multiply this divisor with 1 or with 0. We have only two options. 
so if the remainder is uh, lesser than this number we have to multiply with the uh, zero if it is greater then we have to multiply it with one fine so in this case this is greater it is clearly visible so we went with one so we found this as such subtraction now binary subtraction you know what is zero minus one is one with one borrow right that one borrow comes from here so that is why you are left with zero here so that is why zero here now here is one one minus zero is uh, one and uh, no borrow required and in this case one minus one is zero that's it so this will be one zero one will be the remainder in this first case then you took this one down here now you can see this number is again greater than this number isn't it so again we are multiplying with one the answer we are going to find is one zero well that's perfect so now answer is one zero if you take uh, zero here from here so you will be getting one zero 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 one zero zero which is a number less than this number so what you do is he has skipped the step here but okay what we may do is we may actually uh, multiply here with zero so there will be one step okay putting you on zero 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 here then subtracting you will be getting this number exactly one zero zero then you take this one down here then you are seeing you have to multiply it with one and find out the answer i mean it is going to be this so that is how you can do binary division is the logic of binary division clear it is also um, simple and straightforward but still let me ask if everyone everyone is okay with this binary division or not or is there any question okay it seems so okay what i ask you to do is you take this uh, binary division which we have done convert these numbers to their corresponding uh, uh, decimal forms and check if you are getting things correctly do the division in decimal form and check if the division is done uh, or it is coming in correct way or not so what is your dividend here you just convert it this is uh, 1 plus uh, uh, 4 5 5 i think it is your same dividend which is here triple one zero one zero one is it the same triple one zero one zero one yes so the conversion we already have done this was something like what 100 and what was this 117 correct and what is your divisor is 9 correct so what is your quotient quotient is uh, 1 plus 4 5 plus uh, 8 i think 13 is it 13 yes correct very good 13 and what is going to be the remainder is finally 0. So this verifies how we can uh, correctly take division of binary numbers. Is this clear? Okay, very good. Oh, meanwhile, uh, 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 since you, are, uh, uh, you all are online, I ask you to uh, mark your attendance. Just type your own numbers in the chat box. Now, since in last uh, uh, two classes, I think we have been talking about two's complement representation of a binary number. Now we shall be using that two's complement representation of binary numbers to uh, do binary arithmetic. And mainly we actually will be concerned with binary addition and binary subtraction. So we shall see how two's complement representation is really a very helpful technique to see binary subtraction in the form of binary addition itself. Let us uh, understand the rule first. So what is the rule is like this, that the binary subtraction can be performed by adding two's complement of the subtrahend to the minuend means suppose you have to do 8 minus 5 suppose you have to do 8 minus 5 so what you do you write down 8 in 2's complement you write down minus 5 in 2's complement as well and then add the 2 binary addition and then if the answer which you are getting out of that binary addition of the number and its uh, uh, subtrahends 2's complement then final uh, and in the final sum if you are getting a final carry then you discard that carry carry means if you are 
at the end means the most significant bit is a carry that is one then what you do is you discard that carry and you straight forward say my answer is the binary number which i am getting in the answer except for the carry carry is discarded as such and the answer is in its normal form and the answer is positive so if you are getting finally a carry uh, then you are getting an answer which is positive in earlier tools complement notation what do we used to say that okay if the most significant bit is 1 the number is negative if most significant bit is 0 the number is positive but here the case is di different and that is something you should notice that in sum if the final last or the most significant bit comes out to be equal to 1 the answer is positive and it is in the two it is in the simple form fine on the other hand if the final carry is 0 you don't get any carry then answer is negative and the minus end which you are getting in the answer is actually in the two's complement form so if you have to get the actual number you have to convert first it back to the normal form and then get the uh, true answer i mean this won't be clear unless we do one example so let us do one simple example of uh, these two very simple numbers and then uh, at the same time we will be paying attention to what the statement is saying uh on the top of this slide so first thing what you have to do is what we doing is 7 minus 5 so 7 is a positive number so two's complement is going to be the same as uh, the number itself so what is 7 in simple form 0 3 1 let us suppose we are doing the arithmetic uh, uh binary arithmetic in four bit form right four bit number system we are using So seven is zero one one one, correct? Now five is minus five. So what we have to do actually is write down two's complement for minus five. So what is two's complement for minus five? We have to first write down five, then find out two's complement for five minus five. I mean, what will be that two's complement of minus five? Please do it in your notebook. and cross check that uh, the answer which you should be getting for minus 5 is 1011 is everyone getting the answer same way very good tanvi is very fast so now what we have to do we have to do addition or binary addition of these two numbers now instead of subtracting them them by following the table for subtraction we are doing addition now we shall here follow the table for binary addition so what will that be 1 plus 1 is 0 there will be one carry so now you have 1 plus 1 plus 1 odd number of ones so answer is 1 and for each pair there will be one carry going ahead here <coughs> so this will be one already sitting here and one coming from the carry from the previous uh, column so this 1 plus 1 will be 0 there will be one carry further going here this 1 plus 1 again is 0 1 one further carry going here so here is your answer so now pay attention to this rule if you are getting a carry means your answer is positive fine very good and what is the final answer is discard the carry and get the answer out of it simple conversion from binary number so this is 2 raised to the power 1 means answer is 2 positive 2 and that's what it is correct this is very simple to understand now let us do it other way around there is another uh, same example done in a different way now we are saying okay let us do 5 minus 7 so to do this what you have to do we have to first convert 5 to the binary form now since it is positive we don't need to get its com uh, two's complement or you can say okay two's complements of any binary number or or the, or all the positive binary numbers are same as that of the simple binary representation so two's complement of plus 5 is 1 0 uh, uh, sorry 0 1 uh, 0 1 now minus 7 in two's complement will be you have to first take uh, 7 this is your 7 then you have to take one's complement this is one all zeros then two's complement will be add uh, one to the one's complement so this will be one 
double zero one. That's what is the two's complement of minus seven. So what will be the answer? Add them. What you are getting one plus one zero one carry here. So one plus so one plus zero is one. No carry further. One plus zero one. No carry further. One plus zero one. No carry further. So what happens now? If there is no carry or the final carry is zero, answer is negative. Means answer is negative. And how will we get? We should get two. If you convert this, this is not two, right? If you simply convert it directly. So what is this? Is uh, two plus four six plus eight. 14 but which is not the answer isn't it so the answer actually is in two's complement form so to get the actual answer we have to first take a two's complement of this answer which is nothing but 0001 then one added to it this will be 0010 which is nothing but minus 2 so that is how with the help of uh, two's complement representation we can get uh uh we can subtract any two numbers by just employing the rules of binary addition i hope uh, i am not confusing you right so that is how you can use the rules of binary addition and get the uh, even subtraction following the same set of rules then you may ask okay why we do this what is the advantage of doing this so advantage actually is in terms of hardware if you are using uh, two different set of rules say one set of rules for binary subtraction other set of rules for binary addition then you have to design your circuit two different ways for addition you have to use a different circuit for the subtraction you have to use a different circuit but by using this binary uh, subtraction using two's complement what we can do is we can actually do binary subtraction also by using same circuit which is actually meant for doing binary addition and then following the rule given on the top of this slide we can get actual answer i hope you are convinced with why we need to do uh binary addition or binary subtraction in two's complement form so here you also will realize the physical significance of two's complement so here there is a very great advantage if you use two's complement of any subtrahend then even subtraction can be done with the help of uh, the circuit designed for doing binary addition uh this we already have done so fine now let us do some more examples to do binary subtraction in the form of binary addition in two's complement representation so suppose this is the first example so what you have to first do you have to get 48 in the binary form now since it is positive this will remain as such so what is 48 in uh, simple binary form before i display the answer on screen i want you to do conversion so what will be 48 in binary form yes please do it and let me know Zero, double one, and then followed by four zeros. Yes, correct. I mean, suppose we are using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bit representation. Now, uh, let us uh, stick to one standard notation, which is in terms of eight bit. Now, what will be minus twenty three in two's complement form? What will be minus twenty three? Yes, please. Minus twenty three in two's complement form. Waiting for your response. Yes, please. Uh, 
101001. Okay, let me see others doing this. I hope everyone have done it and on their own. Write down the minus 23 in 8 bit form because what we are going to use is 8 bit form notation. So, in 8 bit, what will be minus 23? Oh. So, this is minus 23 in 2's complement form written in 8 bit notation. Is this correct for everyone? I hope it should be correct because it is simple and uh, straightforward. Now, how to do binary subtraction? Basically, what we are doing here is subtraction. But now we don't need to do subtraction because we are following two's complement representation. So what will be your uh, 48 minus 23? Okay, in decimal you can quickly find out the answer is going to be plus 25. Let us do it in the binary uh, by following the rules of binary addition. So this is your plus 48 in two's complement form. This is your minus 23 in two's complement form. What will be the answer? You have to just add them. So 1, here is 0, here is 0, here is 1, here is 1, here is 1 plus 1, 0, 1 carry here, 1 plus 1, 0 again, 1 carry here, 1 plus 1, 0 here, 1 carry here. So this is the carry. So what is the rule? That okay, if you are getting a carry at the end, discard the carry, it is useless. It is not totally useless, useless but this carry will help you decide the answer that whether the answer is in two's complement form or simple answer. So since carry is one here, the answer directly follows from this value. And how to convert it to the decimal form? This is one plus uh, uh, two, four or zero, eight, nine plus 16, 25. That's what your answer is. Up to here, you have to see the answer. So what is the answer? Since there was a carry of 1, the sign is uh, positive. So we will discard this. The answer comes from this one, which is nothing but 25, which matches with the corresponding decimal uh, number subtraction. So this is something very important you should notice. Is this clear up to this point or is there any doubt? Okay, what about others? Is it clear to everyone? Very good. Nice. So now let us do another example. So this same thing done in opposite way. Now what we are doing is 23 minus 48. So how we shall proceed? You have to first write down 2's complement of 23, write down it for me and then uh, type it in the type box. Similarly, write down 2's complement of minus 48, type the same in the uh, this chat box. Then you have to take the uh, binary uh, sum of the two numbers. So what is 23 in 2's uh, complement form? 23. First, do 23. Fine, you did for 48. That is fine. 23 is 00010111. So, this is your plus 23. I hope you know now because plus 23 is same in 2's complement as well as simple binary form. Minus 23 will be different, definitely. And what is next thing is minus 48. So now write down 2's complement form of minus 48. What will this be? Uh, this is for minus 48. Correct, Diksha, you did it correctly. 
it seems uh, one zero one followed by four zero. So what will be the uh, how how shall we get the uh, binary sum or actually the difference? You have to add these two numbers. So one plus zero one. One plus zero one, one plus zero one, zero plus zero zero, one plus one zero, one carry. This came here one one one. So at the end of the day, we didn't get any carry. Correct? If we didn't get any carry, means what? The answer is negative, as the rule says. If there is no carry at the end, the the answer is negative. Perfect. And it is in. Two's complement form. So this number is not directly the binary answer. It is negative with two's complement form. So you have to get the answer. You have to first take two's complement of this itself because two's complement of two's complement of a number is the number itself. If you, I mean, if you take the two's complement twice, what will be the outcome? Is the number itself. So this will be. Uh, Zero 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 one one zero zero zero, and then add one to it. This will be one one zero zero one, and uh, that is going to be nothing but the minus twenty five. You can cross check it and verify. This should come out to be correct. Minus twenty five. Is this clear? Is this okay to everyone? Is everyone fine with this? Very good. Let us do the same example in a different way. Now let us do minus forty-eight minus of minus twenty-three. How we should proceed to this? The basic idea is that we don't have to follow the rules of binary subtraction. We only have to use binary addition. So what will this actually be equal to? This will be minus forty-eight plus twenty-three. So we don't need to get two's complement as such. So this will be plus forty-eight exactly this way. Now minus minus plus. This we can do manually. So we can design a simple circuit that if minus is repeating twice, it should convert that number to plus, so that you are. Uh, not losing too much time converting a number to two's complement and then finally going back to the uh, final answer. Okay, so this is twenty-three. Simple way, add all these. You know what are the rules? So the answer. Now here you should be little careful. You may say, okay, there is no carry. So is the answer in two's complement form? No. Uh, This is the direct answer. Let us see if it is so or not. So this is one plus two, three, and three plus four, seven, and then this is eight. This is sixteen. This is thirty-two. This is sixty-four. So sixty-four plus seven is seventy-one. So, if both the numbers are positive, rather you could say it this way. Even if the carry is zero, the answer is not negative. Answer is positive because it is understood both numbers are positive. So, this is some sort of uh, uh, exception to the rule we defined on the previous slide, but this is easy to understand. Uh, There is nothing you should be confused about. Okay. One last example now. Let us do minus forty-eight minus twenty-three. Although it has been done for you on screen, but uh, I uh, request you to do it in your notebook yourself and verify it. The numbers, if these are correctly given here on the screen or not. So, okay. What is the basic idea? Is minus forty-eight means. You have to write down it in two's complement. So, what is two's complement of minus forty-eight? You already have it with you. Two's complement of minus twenty-three. We also have that with us. This is twenty-three. So, minus twenty-three, and then two's complement of minus twenty-three. This. So, what we have to do is do binary addition. 
same way as we used to do earlier and ignore the carry finally carry is to be ignored the answer is this one and this answer now since carry is one here okay uh, there is another exception here this is also some sort of exception right so these kind of exceptions are to be dealt carefully and cleverly while implementing uh, the binary addition or binary subtraction in two's complement based circuit so here carry is one now you will ask what was the situation when carry was one answer was to be positive if you go to the previous thing oh let us go here so that we are not confused so if the final carry generated is one answer is positive here you will say oh sir you are saying it opposite way but yes in these kind of situations you have to be little careful why so because both numbers are negative so definitely the answer is going to be negative and okay then okay let us uh, uh, take it uh, directly from here that okay since both numbers are negative answer is going to be negative then what he was saying in the rule find that if carry is one the number is in simple form but not in two's complement form let us see what what is the answer we are getting the answer we are getting is is it in simple form or in two's complement form let us convert this number exactly directly as such oh we don't need even to convert uh, this was your uh, 71 so this is not 71 as such correct because the two are not matching let us see is it 71 this is 1 plus uh, 2 4 8 1 plus 8 9 plus 16 25 uh, plus uh, 32 25 plus 32 will be what uh, 27 57 I think if I'm not wrong plus uh, uh, 0 plus this is 128 so this number is going to be very large so definitely even if we have got carry here now answer since our answer is negative overall answer is negative so it is actually in two's complement form so to get the actual answer we have to get two's complement form back so what we have to do is we have to take two's complement of this which is one uh, sorry zero one triple zero one uh, this is one and this was 110 then you have to add 1 to it this will be 111 000 10 which is nothing but 71 i hope i didn't confuse you uh, if there is any problem or if there is any query from what we did you please feel free to ask is there any question from this part or you have any confusion it must be minus 71 so yes the answer is uh, 71 out of this and since both numbers are negative so it is going to be minus 71 that is fine i mean that that is why i am saying these two examples are a little exception why we should see these two as exceptions because here it is straightforward that okay we shouldn't it doesn't make sense to write down in computer 48 minus minus 23 Rather, we should uh, feed there 48 plus 23 because this part can be done manually. You don't need computer for doing this. Similarly, here both are negative numbers. So we don't need to actually uh, bother or uh, ask computer to check if the answer is uh, negative or so because if one is negative, other is negative, definitely answer is going to be negative. So that part can be done manually even and uh, i mean this is a little confusing thing when we will be studying this thing in hardware case or a hardware implementation of uh, binary subtraction with the help of uh, two's complement form then we can try to understand how to take care of these two types of uh, situations but if the signs are opposite i mean where is the problem coming when the signs are same 
okay i mean let's go back to this one here signs are opposite no problem one is positive other is negative here again signs are opposite no problem but whenever the signs are same in this case 48 plus 23 and here in this case it is minus 48 minus 23 both have same signs then the rules have to be applied carefully but yes using that two's complement notation is not a bad idea or is not a wrong idea uh but yes how to convert the answer back has to be taken care properly so for that we can define a circuit some additional circuit saying that okay when both the numbers are same both the numbers have same sign then follow the answer according to some different rule I mean only thing which is to be taken care here is that whether the answer is in two's complement form or not rest is straight forward because if two numbers are positive answer is going to be positive so we don't need to bother if it is zero or whatever so we can see here okay if the two numbers are positive the answer is not in two's complement form if both numbers are positive answer is positive and is not in two's complement form so in circuit you may have uh okay if i would need some uh, board work for this so let me do it in the next slide or when we will be discussing the hardware part of it for now i just uh, ask you to pay attention to these two examples specifically and these two are very well simplified examples so you just keep this thing in your mind for later reference which we shall be discussing in the next class So is this uh, clear for today or is there any question uh, from this part i mean how two's complement is helpful in doing uh, binary subtraction and binary addition with the help of same circuit so great uh, great thing of this is that we actually have to follow addition only so you see all these four examples if you see in terms of binary form if we look at this component we are doing addition here same is the case here we are doing addition here same case here we are doing addition we are doing addition means to do this part we need one simple common circuit for all these things irrespective of the situation occurring here so that is the advantage means you design one 8 bit circuit or 8 bit binary adder and then get the numbers accordingly fed to the binary adder and then what is going to be the answer is going to come out of that binary adder now what to do with this answer what is the interpretation of this answer can be helped or can be uh, manipulated from other external parts of the circuit the great thing is that okay we just need a 8 bit binary adder to get the answer for all these different kinds of situations i hope it is uh, clear to all of you is it clear or is there any doubt till now very good so it will be more better uh, uh, when we will be discussing the hardware part of it when i will be teaching you the binary adder uh, in case of uh, okay only exception part is not clear okay that i will make you clear Uh, when we will discuss hardware component i mean we will be showing up uh, how we can design a binary adder with the help of uh, those basic logical gates nand gate and gate all other and then there will i will be coming back to this confusion again that how this confusion can be actually taken care very easily with the help of some small circuit added to our binary adder uh okay other than that is there any question yes please any question other than this no sir no sir fine so if there is no question that's all for today uh thank you very much have a nice day and take care of yourself fine thank you